Well, we now know the names of the men who have been missing since a towboat crash on Sunday. Now, the Coast Guard says Matthew Brigalia, Lester Notkin, and Sean Pichu were on aboard a towboat, the RC Kreppel, that collided with another towboat, the Cooperative Spirit, on Sunday near the Hillbox Bridge. A passing boat rescued one man, but the Kreppel sank, and the Coast Guard's search for survivors was called off on Monday. Tonight, Paul Dudley went to Bay St. Louis to attend the vigil for Sean Pichu. I got a chance to speak with Sean Pichu's nephew. He describes his uncle as somebody who is incredibly generous. In fact, he said that his uncle would give you the shirt off his own back if that's what you needed. As the sun sets on Bay St. Louis, family, friends, and even strangers coming together for a man gone too soon. Sean, my uncle Sean, he was a, a great man. He'd give you the shirt off his back, his last dollar. On Tuesday night at Washington Pier, Crowds gathered for a planned vigil for shipboat captain Sean Pichu, one of three presumed dead after two vessels collided Sunday morning in the Mississippi River. The Coast Guard searched but called off their mission Monday, coming up empty. The theme is uh, lighting the way home, so hopefully that we can um, recover the bodies and get closure for our family and these other families. Pichu, a Bay St. Louis native, a father, grandfather, husband, uncle, a true family man, and a diligent worker too. He was a very good, very safe captain. He, he was really a, a good, good captain. One man was rescued after the collision. Pichu's family is thankful for that while missing their own. I thought it can't be real, you know, and I, I just took a deep breath and cried a little bit and didn't know what else to do. Though the Coast Guard search was suspended, officials are still patrolling levees for any sign, so loved ones can get closer to closure. Paul Dudley, Eyewitness News. The barge that Kreppel was pushing was carrying sulfuric acid, though the Coast Guard tells us there's no public health concern. The NTSB is investigating the cause of that crash.